Hello guys, welcome to the start of my moving series. Yes, this is my closet. This is what it looks like now. And it's been an emotional 48 hours. I'm not gonna FaceTime you from here ever again. Like, isn't that depressing? Am I trying to make myself sad? And I'm just proud of you even taking those leaps of faith. And today we're actually moving. And last night was my last night in this apartment. I literally did my hair and makeup today to make sure I didn't cry. Like, I, I feel like I've been crying enough and I'm sick of crying at this point, so. Even though I cry a lot, I'm really excited. I just want to like disclaim that. I just cry a lot. I'm a cancer moon. Holding it in just sucks. So I'm, I'm letting myself feel it all and letting myself cry it all out. Oh my god, I'm like, just like looking at this room and it's just not even the same room. Just to let you guys know, I've been making over my closet in the new house, but I haven't like put anything online because I want that to be its own video. So we actually did move everything out of this room yesterday and brought it over to the new closet. And I set it up that way because I know how I am and I know how my emotions are. I realized that I created this attachment to this closet room. And at the end of the day, it's literally just a room. It's what I did with it and the memories that I had in here and the energy that was in here. So I knew that if I moved this room first to the new house, that this apartment I wouldn't be attached to anymore and I'd want to move myself. And it actually worked good morning guys this is it we are saying goodbye to the closet and as sad as I was last night I was just at the new house like literally 10 minutes ago working on the new closet and I'm fucking ready I'm really excited it's huge I'm ready for this new era let's go So I just got back from this really long day today and I'm seeing the glam suite and the closet empty for the first time. Whoa, this is weird. Whoa, guys, what? I haven't seen it this empty since I redid it. The bathroom's still intact because I gotta get ready. Obviously tomorrow this is the last room we're gonna move out. Guys, what? Guys, what? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is taking me back to when I first moved in here. Guys, this doesn't even feel like my closet anymore. This is not my closet. This doesn't feel like my closet. Whoa, it's so much smaller. <laughs> this looks like an entirely like this is as boring and bland as I remember it being when I first moved in here. I'm, I'm, I, I know it's not that big of a deal, but it also is a big deal because this was like the closet and it is so anticlimactic right now. I have no words. This is what the apartment looks like. Getting ready for our big moving day tomorrow. I am doing two vlogs at once. I am vlogging the closet makeover and I'm also vlogging the move. I want to cry. I'm so excited, but I'm so like, uh, fuck. Crazy, 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 crazy. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. I'm going to probably be emo. I don't know if you notice a pattern, but it's always nighttime for me. All right. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch up with you guys for the big move tomorrow. This is my last night, my last night alone. See what I did there? My last night alone in my station on this couch. I'm definitely gonna lay here and watch like a Hallmark Christmas movie or a Netflix Christmas movie. This is insane. Wow. I feel like I'm in the show Friends when they're like leaving their apartment. You know when like the last episode where like they leave and they're looking at like the empty apartment that's <laughs> We're good, we're good, we're good. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I really feel like I'm becoming an adult. Fuck my life. I feel like I really like blossomed in here. Yeah, you did. I did so much inner child healing in here. So many fucking memories though, like that's killing me. I'm gonna miss seeing the the everything, the background. Me too. I 
haven't let myself fall asleep because this is my last night in the apartment. Choruses don't do change, but I'm also really proud of myself and I'm really excited. So many feelings. Something I learned recently is that you can miss someone and still not be with them. And you can love a space and still know that you're ready to move on. And these feelings can all coexist. And it's mind boggling that you can feel two emotions at once. I feel like normal like influencers do like the cutest like little moving series and like they're so aesthetic and I feel like mine is just me being emotional. <laughs> I'm such a sad Taurus. I'm so excited to move. It's just like when I go to the house, I think when it's time to go home, it's time to go here. It's gonna be weird that this isn't gonna exist. I'm just thinking of all the work that's gonna have to go into the house for it to feel like my own and I'm just like, ugh. I worked so hard to get this to feel like my own. These are just like late night thoughts. I just made a post on Instagram saying bye to my closet and I, I'm not the only one sad. Like I, in the comments, you guys are actually sad. You guys felt personally connected to that closet too. I don't know what it was about that closet, but it was a, it was a good ass vibe and you guys felt the good vibes through the screen. I said bye to the closet and now I gotta say bye to this tomorrow. I don't, this feels like the Friends episode. This literally feels like the Friends episode when they see the empty apartment. There's so much change this year. This is just like, we're ready to go into the new chapter. I've been living in a transition for a long time. Even though like I didn't really vocalize like the breakup or anything on the vlog. There's been a lot of changes going on since like February of last year, so I'm ready. I feel ready. I'm just so many memories in this apartment that are just gonna live in my head now. Like it, it's weird when you take something tangible and it turns into something intangible and it just lives in your head. Like it's weird that this is something I can feel, smell, touch, look at, experience and after tomorrow, it's just gonna be a memory. I'm so tired. But when I wake up, we gotta say bye, so. Thank you so much. Like, I know you're an apartment. I'm talking to the apartment, but like, thank you. Like, if you guys have been watching me for years, you guys, you guys saw me change in this apartment. I went from like depressed and cynical and irritable and unmotivated with the world to just like, starting a new career, coming out of the closet, pursuing music, helping my relationship with Gabby, going through heartbreak, going through a pandemic. Like I have grown and I've become who I am in this apartment. Like I've become the woman I was supposed to be in this apartment. So this is what's left of the glam suite. Okay, so, so I had an idea that I should pack an overnight bag for my first night in the house because I feel like when you move just from past experiences, you get so confused at where things are and it doesn't help when you're when you're going through so many emotions. So I'm gonna pack as if I'm going to LA. I'm gonna pack like my skincare routine, my hair tools, my pajamas, my tech stuff. Like I'm gonna pack everything. So I feel like I'm like on vacation kind of. I don't know, I feel like this is something I've never done all the times that I've moved and I feel like this is gonna make things a lot easier. So I also don't feel stressed to like unpack everything to find where everything is. So let's pack so that we can move. Let's pack for moving. Mmm. 
Oh god. Mm -hmm. Update. We are in the house and it's already getting dark out because daylight saving sucks and it's only like 4.30 p.m. but it looks like it's like 8 p.m. But anyways, a few things, a few updates. So, so the people that are helping me move are family friends of mine. I, I didn't like hire a moving company. Um, they've been working on my closet all day and that took longer than expected. Bitch, sorry. You what almost lit this on fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she almost burns it down. The puffer vest was in my candle. Well, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> we were supposed to move everything over to the house today, but the closet just kind of took forever. And here's the thing. I could totally spend another night in that apartment tonight, but I haven't slept the last three days. Every day I've had to literally wake up, no matter what time I go to bed at, I have to get up at like seven, eight in the morning and show up at this house and I need to be able to sleep. I am literally, like I feel myself burning out. But anyways, since we're not moving the entire apartment here today, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Haley did come down here today and I want to utilize her being here. So we are going to put together my counter stools. I'm excited. It's so nice here. I don't even know where it's like my dream kitchen and she has it, so I'm moving it. Yeah, you're gonna move it. So guys, like these stools are, I'm selling them. I actually found someone to buy these. They're from our old filming house. They're cute, but I feel like we need to level up in this like beautiful blue kitchen. And I feel like these stools just remind me of like the past. So we're just gonna sell those. These are the new stools. I feel like I did a lot of color in the apartment. And I feel like here, I wanna keep the cozy mid-century modern vibe, but keep it very neutral. I want this to just look like this big house is kind of giving you a hug. I don't want it to feel like a mansion. I don't want it to feel empty and sterile. I want it to feel like a cozy Airbnb in like the woods. So with that being said, these counter stools are the start of the aesthetic in here. And I didn't just buy any counter stools. I bought like special counter stools and it only came in a set of two, but they're so wide, we don't need three. So let's start putting these together. Here's your instructions and here's your tools. And they're all labeled? Yes. I believe in you. Is this labeled? No. These are just legs. Doesn't matter. There's only, there's only four of them, girl. <laughs> nope. Wrong end. Look how mine is. Oh, take this off? No, wrong end. <laughs> These are the top. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's not a builder. This weirdly looks like the room in my apartment. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Except it sounds probably more echoey. Oh my God, we're gonna hide Blanky. This is my first night alone in the new house. I was supposed to have a friend stay over, but she ran into a situation and had to go home. And you know what? I feel like the universe is testing me and I'm ready for it. I kind of really wanted to be alone tonight. I'm actually not scared to be alone in here because I've been around people for so many days in a row. I really just miss my alone time. I feel like we did the things I was the most stressed about and that was the closet, which is literally so close to being done and also setting up this room because if the bedroom doesn't feel homey, then like I was gonna freak out, but it feels good. I feel really homey. So I do not have a TV mounted on the wall yet and I heard that Sex Life of College Girls just came out with a second season. So I'm gonna be watching that on my laptop. <laughs> But this is crazy. This is fucking crazy. Tomorrow, everybody's coming and we're gonna move the rest of the apartment and I'm gonna say my goodbye to my apartment. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna end this vlog here and I will pick up with you guys day two of the actual move, which is tomorrow. So, here's to adulting. <laughs>